Last night, I came across some pictures of Joaquin Phoenix, and I was shocked at his appearance, especially considering he's only 44 years old. For those of you that don't know, Joaquin claims to have been a vegan for over 40 years since he was three years old. Some of you might say that he lost weight to appear in the Joker film, therefore looks a bit worse, but even before then, he was sporting gray hair and appears sick in general. Regardless of which way you put it, he doesn't look good for 44 years old. Leonardo DiCaprio is the same age, 44, and looks far healthier. Brad Pitt is 55, more than 10 years older, is much more vibrant, and even has less gray hair. Jared Leto is 47, and although some of you may have heard Jared Leto is vegan, he has admitted to eating animal products on occasion. Chris Pratt is 40, and I'm sure he won't age 30 years by the time he is 44. But I'm sure you get the point. Joaquin Phoenix looks old. There are also significant changes in his facial structure since he was younger. His lips are receding, cheeks are less full. Overall, his face is much narrower, especially the lower face around the cheeks and jaw. Both your bones and soft tissue in your face will change depending on nutrition throughout your life. Yes, nutrition during developmental stages is far more important, but to build that initial skeletal structure, the skull, the face, you need certain vitamins and minerals when you're in the womb, when you're being breastfed, when you're a toddler, when you're a child, when you're a teenager. But a lack of these vitamins and minerals can also affect you later in life. It certainly explains why some people age quicker than others. You ever notice how certain older people have thinner lips, their chin starts sticking out, and the length between their nose and upper lip becomes very short? What's weird is this tends to happen in couples the older male and female oddly looking like each other in their old age. This is an example of poor diets lacking nutrients needed for bone health, particularly vitamin D3 and K2, which are even lower in a vegan diet. What's comical is that Joaquin Phoenix wore wool suits for dozens of years. Clearly, wool suits are not vegan, but suddenly he becomes aware that he shouldn't be wearing wool and is now the poster boy for a vegan suit company. Not sure why they are still calling it vegan wool, uh, but hey, I guess that's why we have vegan sausages because calling them poisonous soy chemical tubes doesn't have much of a ring to it. Of course, one element of this is a money grab. Uh, there is a lot of money in selling cheap grain-based food under the guise of vegan or plant-based, claiming it's healthy. But that's what they've already been doing for over 50 years. You know, the USDA dietary guidelines, stuffing Americans full of cheap crap. Now it's time to pretend it's healthy because we use soybean oil instead of butter or tofu instead of chicken. It seems as if history is repeating itself. Uh, the craziest thing to me is that there is denial about a plant-based agenda. There is denial about a vegan agenda. There's all these documentaries, all these celebrities going vegan, all this nonsense in the media pushing people to go plant-based, and there's this huge denial mechanism. Oh yeah, go vegan for the planet, go vegan for planet. How can anyone not see the clear agenda going on here? Let's take a look at a video explaining why Joaquin went vegan. I've been vegan since I was three years old, and um, at that age, me and my siblings witnessed fish being killed in a really violent and aggressive way, and it was just absolutely obvious that that was something that we didn't want to participate in and we didn't want to support. Um, you know, to me, it just seems it seems obvious. I don't want to cause pain to, to another living, empathetic creature. Um, I don't want to take its babies away from it. I don't want to force it to to be indoors and fattened up just to be slaughtered. It is absurd and barbaric. And uh, I, I just, I, I, I don't understand how um, you could witness that and, and not be affected by it. Um, but certainly it's also, you know, the effect that it has on our environment is devastating. So 
for me, it's it's just um, it's my life, and it has always been my life, and it's it's really one of the most important things to me. So when Joaquin was younger, he witnessed a fish being killed, decided he didn't want to support any type of animal cruelty moving forward in his life. One thing I have mentioned in past videos is that fish don't actually have the capacity to feel pain. What's so hypocritical about going vegan from a moral ethical perspective is that so many animals suffer due to conventional agriculture in general. Doesn't matter whether you're vegan or carnivore, whether it's glyphosate sprayed oatmeal or a grain fed feedlot steak, you are still supporting the same evil corrupt food system. We've gone over this so many times. Support local sustainable agriculture. Stop fixating over what is good and what is bad based on what other people are telling you. Look at what nature wants. Very simple things. Humans have a biological craving, a need for meat. Cows love eating grass. Green summer pasture makes them happier than ever. Weeds, insects, small rodents thrive in any field until you spray it with agrochemicals. Special interest groups, people driven solely on profit without any care for human well-being, know exactly what they are doing and will not stop. Blaming the environment, fear-mongering about climate change is the most widely accepted idea that no one has proven. Uh, probably more irritating than vegans thinking you can eat dirt and get B12. That, that's been driving me crazy every single day. I spoke about this in my Steven Crowder video that I will link at the end here uh, pertaining to global warming and climate change never really being proven. Things like this have come up in my research over the past few years and it has made me realize that every single thing I have been told my entire life has been a lie, whether intentional or not. At this point, I just try to stay open-minded to any and all possibilities. Always looking at both sides of the coin as this is how I became successful in my health journey in the first place. We've seen how veganism has panned out over the past several years on YouTube and now it seems to be hitting the mainstream harder than ever. Ever since I've started analyzing veganism, I've continued to stay curious about how it will go over the next few years. That being said, without people actively fighting against it, it will harm far more lives than you can imagine. Yes, the standard American diet is unhealthy, but the vegan diet is a step in the wrong direction. If you guys could please share this video. Uh, the more people we get aware of this, you know, the more popular mainstream stories, things that we notice, uh, you know, some people are gonna say, oh, he lost weight for the Joker. Some people can say, oh, he's a drug addict his whole life. Yeah, like every other celebrity isn't a drug addict then. And look at how he looks compared to everyone else. Uh, the denial mechanism is very strong. Vegans are simply cute, cuddly animal lovers that try to use health, environment, moral and ethical perspectives to get you to stop eating meat. They are not truthful. They are lying about every single thing they are saying. I find it very hard to believe that these vegans aren't intelligent enough to understand that the arguments they're pushing forward are actually not true whether they just don't want to do further research or they're, they're paid chills or they have this, and we know they have a super strong denial mechanism and always go back to the vegan diet because the idea of eating cute little piggy wink wink will never sit well with them. If you guys could please like the video, subscribe, hit that bell icon. If you do want to support me further, uh, earlier this year we started Frankie's Free Range Meat. My goal being to provide you guys with high quality animal foods at an affordable price. You can check out frankiesfreerangemeat.com. We've got a couple sales going on on burger patties as well as beef liver. Uh, you can also go to Frankie's Naturals, minimal ingredients, minimally processed hygiene and cosmetic products. I was up until 3 a.m. last night making stuff for you guys, so definitely check out Frankie's Naturals. Thanks again for joining me, guys, and enjoy the rest of your day.